If you couldn't tell by the energetic band and the equally ecstatic crowd, saying the 8035 festival was missed is an understatement. Yeah, I think it was the first thing that came to mind when everything started shutting down that first summer of 2020. COVID canceled the last two festivals, so finally back again in 2022. Let's try that one more time. Des Moines, hello! Both longtime fans. Uh, I've been coming out here since 2014. Since I was two. And even new fans. I was surprised that it had been going on so long and I'd never heard of it. Weren't going to miss it. That's one thing I realized I really missed is just being in a big crowd of people and seeing all the different walks of life. Nonprofit Des Moines Music Coalition planned this year with more staff on board to help with security, bag checks, and so much more. So if somebody needs some water or whatever that may be, we've just brought on more people again just so that people feel really comfortable at the festival. Of course, the main stage area fitting 11,000 people is a big draw. <laughs> The four free-to-watch stages where more local artists perform are definitely attracting crowds of their own. It's a good opportunity to come out, see some great music, support a great cause, and really help support uh, kind of the live music industry here. Local food vendors line the outskirts of stages, and young dancers make stages of their own. With their money going toward future 8035 festivals and local music education programs and partnerships, there's nowhere else many of these bands and fans would rather be. I've been in New York and I've been to Broadway shows, but I feel like this just goes on for two days and I didn't get to see a, uh, a Broadway show for two days, so I think this is better.